know, I'm always, I told you yesterday, I'm always working on myself. I'm always taking courses. I'm always trying to evaluate what's going on. The last, I think it was just a few months ago that I went on my own spiritual sort of retreat at my church. I was there for a week and I had like, you know, I'm a visionary anyway, but it opened up, like the universe opened up. I saw something very clear and concise, something about my havingness, you know, your ability to have something. You don't always have to own things. I can have these TV monitors. I can have you in the room. I can have that I have money. I can have that I have a plane. I can have that I have this diamond. I can have that I have good friendships and people around me who love and support me. There are people that cannot have. There was a time when I had very low havingness where I couldn't even have the diamond that Grant put on my ring, this isn't mine by the way, it's a loner. I'm trying to convince Grant, it's a 10 carat. I've been together with him for 15 years. I'm trying to entice him. I'm like, I love the old ring, but baby, it's 10X, let's face it. <laughs> But the first ring, like, like these are loners too. These are loners from the same jewelry guy. Um, like, I, I've always been a tomboy. Bobby could attest to that. Like, I, I, I'm just a tomboy. So most of the time, I'm not even wearing a ring. I'm not wearing jewelry. I don't wear jewelry. Um, so when Grant actually gave me the diamond that he gave me, which was, I don't even know, I don't pay attention to that stuff, but it's a big rock. But when he first put it on my finger, my havingness was so low because I felt like, <gasps> like I was, I was embarrassed. Like I was very uncomfortable to wear the diamond. I had low havingness. I couldn't have the diamond. But on the side of each diamond was the most microscopic diamond that probably exists on the planet. And it was inside a heart on one side and there, there's another one on the other heart. So anytime anyone would say, oh my God, I could land a plane on that ice, you know, on that runway on your diamond. I would be like, I know, but look at this little heart. Like, because that's what I could have. I couldn't have the diamond. Well, since then, I've handled whatever I needed to handle in my universe that kept me small with low havingness. So this last time I was on my own spiritual retreat, something else in my universe opened up even more and I was like, oh my gosh. And it was like, and I came home and I said, Grant, Get ready, because whether you have a say in it or not, it's just done, it's, I, I'm doing it. Like, and Grant always, like that's the one thing that Grant really loves about me, is that I operate on, I, I, I don't know, I don't know why, I'm just gonna tell you what it is, but I operate on a, on a higher level, okay? I'm just, I'm just gonna, can I be unapologetic? Okay, I, do I have to like be humble? Can I just say it? Okay, so I operate on, on, on an aesthetic wavelength, which is, it's more games, it's more postulates. The word postulate means something to be assumed to be true, whether it exists to be true or not. It's called a postulate. There can be a good postulate or a bad postulate. A good postulate is like, which is what happened to me, which is where I could see everything, and I came home and I told Grant, Everything that we have done thus far will look like child's play because my universe and everything and where I'm at and on the wavelength that I now operate on is so clean and so clear and so ethical and so precise and I have no reason to hold myself back or to shrink myself. The only reason that you shrink yourself or be small in life is because you know that you're doing things that are unethical and you don't want to hurt people because man is basically good. And when you're basically good, you you want to protect other people from yourself. So if you're doing unethical things to this person, this person, that person, you can't be like, hey, I want to walk in the light and shine it on me because you know you can't lie to yourself. And if you have blemishes here and there and you've cheated this person out of that and you were unethical here or unethical there, then you're kind of like, mm. and so then you walk in life and you're like, you tend to withdraw from life. 
well, I've cleaned. I've done a lot of work on myself. I've cleaned up a lot of stuff so where I can be like, it's not that I never make a mistake. It's not that I never am unethical, but I clean it up right away and I handle it and I repair it. So going back to what you said, like, I'm just at this place now where it's gonna be fun to watch the next five years because the universe has opened up and not because I waited for the universe to open up. It's because I opened up the universe.